Welcome to Upgrade, I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're gonna take a look at a webcam and we're gonna test it out. Uh, it's called Goalsware uh, Webcam, and pretty much, we're gonna see how well it works. Uh, and this is 1080, uh, it's not a 4K. It has a mic built in the actual camera, and this is great for those Zoom classes, Zoom uh, meetings that you're gonna attend. So we're gonna take a look at it and see how well it works and open it up and see what you get in this box. So let's go ahead and start. Let's take a look at the camera. Uh, it looks like it has a ring light here. Um, no indication of any kind of light. It has a mount for ready for any tripod that you're gonna set up. It has a little grip here, a little plastic grip that you could grab onto any kind of monitor. Um, looks very well made. Um, it has, a, I guess this is this part of the mic in the back here. So on top of the camera, they also give you the little tripod here so that you can set up. Um, I actually like this, you know, it's pretty much a, and these are flexible, they're like independent and you could actually flex them to any kind of style that you want and open them up. It's just a little weird noise making, but look at this. You could set them up, it's a little tiny tripods. You set them up, look, look at your way, point it out to your direction. This is perfect. This is something that you could take it on the go and put it on top of your laptop, um, on top of any monitor. Uh, they give you that little tripod, this is a plus. Uh, has a built-in mic. Uh, we're gonna test it out. 1080 HD. That's pretty much maximum um, quality that we're gonna get out of this and See what else we can do with this. So let's go ahead and test it out All right, let's take a look at the camera itself. You guys can notice I'm picking it up right now And I'm using the camera and it's pretty high Let me turn it down just a little bit because it is pretty accurate and it's going over to the yellow to the red section. So on top of the camera, look at the camera ring light, right? It's a touch screen light. If you touch it, let me see if I could touch it here without touching it. There it goes. So you touch it once. I don't know exactly where you touch it. I think in the center. Oh, this metal piece right here. So to change the ring light, you can change it to like a yellowish tone if you see it. Uh, I'm gonna put it a little higher and I'm gonna say red, no light and light. Now, the camera itself, it's really simple, easy to set up. Um, it comes as, as camera USB. All right, I'm gonna put the camera right on the side so you guys can see it. So if you're doing your Zoom classes, Zoom meeting, you can actually take a look at it. And right now I'm about a foot away from it, a foot and a half away from it. So it song quality looks really well on the meter right now. I'm actually going over it. I might have to tone it just a little bit down, but this is something that's picking up, uh, it looks like it's picking up a good mic right now. And the quality of it, I got some lighting here. We're gonna kill some light right now. Let me kill one of the lights so you can actually see the, the tone. And I have a dark room in here. I have one more light that I could turn on and I could turn off, but I'm gonna keep that one on because the quality, I don't wanna lose the quality of that light. We're also gonna do a green test, a screen screen test right now and see how well it works. So this works very well. Let's do a test on the actual system itself. If you guys notice the, the eyes, there's some lighting because it's coming from the actual light. But I'm going to kill the lights in here, see how dark it gets and how well it works. All right, we're capturing just the light. Everything in this room is completely dark except for one monitor that I have on the right. And if you notice the ring light, it's actually the only thing lighting up. So if you're going to do this in the dark room, you might be able to capture good. I put a green screen in the back because we're going to do a test with light off and then with light on. So right now I'm going to see if I can change the color of it. And it turns everything a little yellow. So we're going to touch it again and it completely dark. So, but. This is really good, adjusting really well. Except for my other camera, it's not adjusting very well. It's pretty good for a dark room, you know. So if you're in a dark condition, uh, not bad. I, like I said, I have some lights far away from here. They're not even close to this room. Um, you can still see my monitor that I have in front of me lighting up the way, but it's, it's like if you're working on a laptop in a dark room, it's not bad. So this, the quality is really good. So let's go ahead and continue the test. Turn it back on. Now, we're gonna do a green screen with the darkness, so let's go ahead and add a filter. All right, we're gonna, we put a filter on it right now, and we're gonna mess around with the filter and, and try to see if we can scale it down to the actual color. So let's go ahead and mess around with it. Uh, if you notice, I could blank it out, but this is green and this is how much I'm gonna do. So right there is pretty much where I'm gonna be the default right there. And we're gonna turn some light on and this is gonna change the whole thing. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the default. So you still have to mess around with the actual color. Let's turn on another light. All right, this is the default and we're gonna turn off the center camera. We don't need the actual lighting. Um, if you can notice right now, some of it is capturing because of the lighting, but overall it's looking pretty well. It's actually really good quality. It's, it's the audio itself. It's really high. 
Um, I, I kind of like some of the features that it does have, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to zoom in or out. It doesn't have that feature um, for any kind of zoom in or out. It's pretty much one lens as it is, but if you can see it, it's capturing really well in the green screen and actually on the zoom call. And overall, it looks pretty good. Uh, this light in the middle doesn't make a difference unless you're working on a dark room like I was testing it out right now. The touch, um, I don't know why they put the yellow one. I, I don't like this color, but a lot of people eventually, I guess they do. Um, better for better setting, better features on their faces. Overall, the camera is well made well built uh, I like that they give you the extra plus thing with the little tripod that's an extra thing that I wasn't expecting it has a clip that you could even clip this on your on your pocket itself you know if you can see the side angle um, this is not the best thing but it's a plus for as an extra item uh, the camera overall is really light uh, don't expect uh, to to uh, the only problem I had uh, is that you couldn't really zoom in in any kind of settings it's just fixed as it is but I like the feature that it's a touch screen a touch a touch sensor here to turn on the light that was a plus itself the microphone sounds fantastic on a distance that I was working from I actually had to tone it down and I listened to it and it, it sounds really good so if you guys are looking for an inexpensive camera a webcam for the internet this is a pretty good one. Uh, it's a 1080 um, a maximum resolution on it, but you know what? It does the job. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, let me know. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.